The physics behind crumple zones. Let's start with Newton's second law of motion. The force is equal to the mass times acceleration. We also know that acceleration is equal to the change in velocity over time. This means that the force times time is equal to the mass times the change in velocity, or momentum. The mass is the mass of the car. The change in velocity is from the driving speed to zero. The force is the impact that stops the car, while time is how long it takes the car to come to rest. The mass does not change, and the change in speed is uncontrollable during and after the accident. What about the force in time? Since drivers are incapable of controlling the change in momentum, the car company designs your car to increase your stopping time in order to reduce your stopping force. We can see this every day. If you brake suddenly to make sure you don't miss the stop sign, you feel a strong force that pushes you forward because you have a short stopping time. While if you just ease your foot up the accelerator, you feel little to no force because you have a longer stopping time which reduces the stopping force. We can graph this with a force time graph. If your stopping time is short, your force is much higher than if you have a longer stopping time. The area under both graphs are the same and are equal to the change in momentum. During a car crash, the first priority is you and the last is your car. To make sure you walk away from any accidents with as little injuries as possible, cars are designed to have extra space in the front of the car, also known as a crumple zone, that reduces the stopping force by increasing the stopping time. How does it work? Rather than the very short stopping time that would have a huge force, the front of the car crumples to increase the stopping time. How can it improve? Rather than making the front longer, which makes driving much harder, Building the front of the car with material that compresses easily is the best option. How does this technology affect society? Like any technologies, there are good and bad effects. According to Statistics Canada, the number of deaths in car accidents have decreased between the year 1994 and 2013. Negative impacts include extra cost and most serious one, the fake sense of security. More than any car safety additions, the best option to stay safe is to drive safe.